The year was 2018. A manga was released in a weekly shonen jump by the name of Act Age. A manga so good in both story and art that when you read the first chapter, you know this is going to be good. You know that this is going to be the next big thing. But unfortunately, it didn't. Act Age. It was a manga that was written by Tatsuya Matsuki and illustrated by Shiro Usazaki. These two are practically new in the industry as the two was only worked on one one-shot before working on Act Age. Act Age itself was a manga about a character named Yonagi Kei. She has been attracted into the idea of acting as she has always attentively watched how action and emotions differs depending on the type of character portrayed. Now, as a teenager, she's broke, and she's the only one that can financially support her younger siblings. And so, she started to auditioning for any role possible. But, unfortunately, none of them were succeed. Until she met Kuroyama Subiji, a renowned director that sees Yonagi's performance and amazed by her ability to immerse herself into the role using method acting. In one audition, Yonagi shows her talent on acting along with other contestants. When the other are still processing the scene that's still being introduced, Yonagi has already started acting, as if she's actually in the set. Everyone was amazed by her talent, but there is one problem. Even though she's a diamond in the rough, if she keeps using the same technique over and over, it could lead to her being severely damaged, as that's the cost of method acting. So Kuroyama makes the decision to help polish her giving Yonagi the opportunity she needs. But the road ahead is far from easy, as she will need to adapt and overcome many obstacles, while also perfecting her craft on method acting. This manga was amazing. I remember reading it when it still released weekly, and this manga was surely something else. The composition on the art was amazing. It really can pull you into the story even more. And sometimes it can make you feel the actual atmosphere that was going on in the story. And it's just like you were there, witnessing every dramatic and beautiful moment this manga was created. Emotion played the important role in this manga as this is a manga about acting. And surely enough, the way they draw emotion in each character when they were acting or not were incredible. The art can get you captive and wanting to see more and more and more of this manga. And for a weekly manga, the art was just unbelievably good. I don't think anything can top that at the time this manga was still available. The story itself was on another level. It was probably the most engaging story I've ever read. The struggles, the challenges, and the conflict within this manga was felt realistic. Almost as if it can actually happen in real life. The character itself was amazingly written. And most of the time, you can relate to the characters how they act, the method they use, how they shaped as a character, and their rivalry was absolutely amazing. It is probably one of the best manga I've ever read in years. And when I read this manga, it almost as if I'm watching an actual actor and actress acting on a movie. And the way they draw how Yonagi used her method acting really makes you feel that it is an actress that acted, even though it's just a drawing. And because of how good this manga is, this manga gained popularity really quick. It got nominated in a well-known award, it got its own stage play, it was reportedly will get an anime, and everything just went really well for this manga. But then, something unfortunate happens. Matsuki Tatsuya was 6th on 8th of August 2020, the story writer of Act H was arrested on suspicion of committing indecent act towards a minor. And on the same day, Act H was cancelled. The stage play got cancelled, the merchandise got pulled off, and the manga was never continued. And on 24th of August 2020, Act H illustrator Shiro Usazaki released a statement that quote, 
I fully accept and agree with the Jump editorial team's decision to cancel Actage, as well as the cancellation of the projects, the collected volumes, and the merchandise. With the possibility of triggering or causing distress to the victims by seeing Actage, we felt it was appropriate to end the series. And on the 24th of November 2020, Tatsuya Matsuki admitted to the charge and was sentenced guilty. He was sentenced to one year and six months to prison. This marks the fall of one of the greatest manga that ever graced upon this earth. Although his sentence was suspended for three years if he remains in a good behavior, it didn't change the fact that the manga was over. With no continuation, no ending, and just hang in there as it eventually falls into the void of nothingness.